We have really passed through a lot. I beg Amni that they should release, they should release my husband's rights to him. I was enlisted into the Army in 2003, January 2003. And uh, after my training, I was posted to 82 Demonstration Battalion, the Kaduna Jaji. We've been going to see uh, different uh, operations. This very day, September 12, 2013, we asked to go for a, a particular attack. They called the place Kafia Forest. We were briefed that the people who want to go and fight, they've been in that place since 2003, that they've become a strong force. Before we go, that an Alpha jet, Alpha jet will go ahead of us in order to, bond, to, to, to soften the ground for us so that we can just go in and just mop the, 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 the rest. And we're so confident, we're so happy that today will be the end of this particular Boko Haram. So we advance, we're moving. At the time we get to a point, we get to a point where we can't see the Alpha Jet anymore. So our commander said, oh, we have to go. These people has already lay ambush on us. There was serious firing on us. Sir, it was a serious battle. Well, by God's grace, God saved my life. That very day, we lost 38 of our men. Then the next morning, the same commander came, came and met us in the camp, and then began to say, gentlemen, now let us go and recover the body of our brothers, our lost uh, fallen heroes. After his address, I now raise my hands up and now ask a question. You told us pointly that the people are of a strong force, that we can't just go without the air, uh, the uh, bombardment, the alpha jet go ahead of us to bombard, to soften the ground for us. He now said, uh, you see, it's not his fault. The problem he has, is the Air Force. The Air Force are the ones that, 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 that failed him. Knowing fully well to soldiers that it was not true. You know, soldiers from, from the rear, you know, they begin to murmur. And to an extent, they begin to shoot to the air. You understand? That is a lie. It's a lie. You understand? And the man, the man left. A month later, I was redeployed to another place called Megumiri local government. I just see military police. And they said they need my attention, and I go. And they said I should come and put in statement, put it in writing that what do I know about what happened in the, on the parade ground on Soso Day. And I wrote, and I went back to my location. I was redeployed again to another place called Damasak. Then after a month later, they came and called me. That uh, the question I I asked the other day was a mutinous question. And so, and so therefore, I was charged for mutiny. Before I know, a week, a month, a year, you know, from one detention to another, from one detention to another, get to Abuja 2014. On a fateful day, Barrister Sam Femi Falano just came. He said, those soldiers that were charged for mutiny want to see us. And he listened to our story. Then he now stood for us as a lawyer. Then the, the court martial began. The judgment was given were given death sentence. Four of us were given uh, death sentence. Then, after a while, we were moved from Abuja to uh, military intelligence in Lagos here, underground. We were there for like a year, more than a year. We were not allowed to see our children. We were not allowed to see our wife. We were not allowed to see anybody. Finally, they moved us from there to prison. Our lawyer, San Femi Falano, took the case to a P court. He did his best, he kept pushing, he kept pushing. On the fifth day, that day I was, uh, I was in exam hall. God, we were writing, I was writing my 200 level in the National University there, in the prison there. Then they came to call me that, uh, by God's grace, that uh, that was uh, May, that uh, a P court, a P court has discharged and acquits our case. Then uh, the, the prison staff made us know that we have been discharged and acquitted. The, the transfer, the detention and everything is six years. 
I thank God. I return home and meet my wife and meet my, my children intact. It was tough. It was, not, it was not easy at all. Unknown to me that I was even pregnant for one of my daughter. I didn't know. So it was when he left that time that I discovered that I was pregnant. So I was left alone. There was no means of communication. There was no how I can talk to him. You know, people will start coming that time. <laughs> they will be coming from um, Meduguri. I will be asking Alpha, did you see my husband? Did you hear about him? Did you do this? Did you do that? Some of them will say, Madam, we know you, but we know say your husband will come one day. What I was not hearing is that they said they should go and sentence some soldiers to death. They now mentioned their name. That year, it was a bitter year. It was not sweet at all. And they stopped paying no salary. They did not pay us any money again. How the children feel that they went to school, it's not their business. Before we will get there to go and give him food at times, and we go there and we see my husband, I will not be happy the way I will see him. There was a day that we were eating. It was a little soup that was made I make Gary Eba. We were eating before I you know the soup finished. Then my men in the trailer said they are not okay. I said you are not okay. They said yes, help. Let's put water now. We put water in that pot of soup and we do it like this. And we ate it like that that night. We all went to bed. So all this why our eye have seen. If you call my children to, to come and testify, they will tell you. I beg me that they should release. They should release my husband's or my husband's rights to him. They should release it to him because we have really suffered a lot. Since I, uh, the appeal courts have discharged and acquitted us and said we are to be, we are to be reinstated and go back to, uh, we are to be reinstated and be pay all our rightful dues. I keep asking myself why up to now, it's gone to a year now, nothing has been done. I, I joined the army with passion and just being out like this, serving the army for good 16, 17 years for good 17 years and you know, you are just out like that. It, it's a painful stuff. I'm not angry with them, but I should have my, at least my rightful benefit. You know, like my discharge certificate with me, like my retired uh, ID card with me, you understand? I, I'm not angry with the army in any way, but it's just, it's a pain to me.